Hi, Lucy. Hi. My name is Dr. Katharina. Nice Hi. to see you. Nice to see you. So I'm doing the in-home uh, visit. Okay. Um, I see here that you had a bite to the leg. Yes. And this was by a dog? Yes, not a human. Okay. All right. Tell me a little bit about um, when this happened. Um, this happened Sunday night around 11 p.m. Um, it was a random dog, um, came and bit my knee. I am so sorry to hear about that. Thank you. And what kind of dog was it? Um, a chihuahua. Okay, wow. Well, I'm sorry to hear about that. Um, and did you go to, you went to the ER, yes? I went to the ER two days later. I wanted to see if it would heal, but, um, because it's my knee, I don't think it was healing properly. Okay. So I am here. Uh, as just a follow-up to do a bandage wrap. Okay. Um, I do see that you were prescribed just a little bit of pain medication, but that was only for a day or two. So I'm going, I have some more here for you. Thank you. Um, and, but which knee was it? The, was it the right knee? My there? right knee. Yes. Okay. And how many uh, wounds? Um, I've got two larger ones and then three small ones on the right side. Okay. And is there just one big bandage over it right now? Yes. Okay, perfect. And are you currently in any pain? Um, it's actually better since I had the pain meds, um, but it would be like a 5 out of 10 now. Gotcha, 5 out of 10, okay. Um, yeah, so the last doctor I saw um, said that redness can be a sign of irritation from an infection. Um, oh, wow. So I just wanted to get it checked out because um, it's really red right here. Um, but I haven't taken the bandage off since I went to the ER yesterday. They said leave it on as long as I could um, until the next doctor came in to in-home and fix it up. Okay, so it looks like we definitely need to go ahead and get started as I do see the redness spreading a little bit, which I'm a little worried about. So um, I also see that I was requested for a really quick just cranial nerve exam as you had also fallen and hit your head. Yes. So we'll go ahead and do that really quick as well so yeah, that we can get started on that. Perfect. So I'm just going to start off with those vitals. Definitely. So I'll just be listening to your heart. Okay. Okay. I'll take breathe in. Breathe out. Very good. Breathe in. Breathe out. I'm just going to listen with the bell. Just relax and breathe normal. Strong heartbeat. I'm wondering if your blood pressure will be a little bit elevated. So let me go ahead and check that. Definitely. Um, you must have been in fight or flight mode, yes? Yes, definitely. So, okay. All right, let me just put my gloves on. Okay, so I'm gonna check your temperature to see if you have any signs of fever. Okay, 97.8. Let me just check the ear. Okay. 96.7. And I will just be checking the leg here. Okay. Okay, and then your wrist here. Okay, no signs of high temperature, which is really good. And I'll just be needing. Right. Are you okay with me checking your blood pressure? Yes. Is it okay if I raise this up? Yes. And are you feeling okay at the moment? Yes. It's going to slip this on. Perfect. And I'll just have you sit down. Okay. I'm just going to clip this on right here. this really quick. 95. Good. BPM is 91. Healthy. 
Right. We're just gonna do a really quick um, blood pressure check. Okay. One twenty six over eighty nine, which is just a little elevated there, but you're on medication a little bit too, so no yeah. worries. That can happen. Okay, so I'm just gonna set these aside. Oh, thank you. No worries. All right, so what I'm gonna do is get started with just having a feel of your head. Okay. So I'm just gonna get a little bit closer okay. here. And I'm just gonna see if I can find any lumps or bruises. Okay. I don't see any. Or feel any visual bumps. Let me just do a really quick measure of your head. Okay. Okay. Twenty three. It doesn't seem like your head is swollen or anything. Do you feel any pain here? No. Okay, does it hurt when you move your neck this way? No. Okay, and what about this way? No. Okay, and then can you look back at me? Any pain? No. All right, so I'm just gonna have a quick assessment of your, um, your skin there. So okay. I just need my light. Okay, so you're free to close your eyes. I don't wanna blind you. Visual bruising. Just gonna have a look at your arm here. Did you end up um, hitting your arm anywhere? No, um, but I have a cut on my foot and um, on my upper thigh. Okay, perfect. We'll definitely assess the lower extremities shortly here. Okay. Let's go take a look at this side here. And no scratches or bites to the hand? No. Okay, perfect. So we'll do the cranial assessment before we move down. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is, I am just gonna have a really quick look to see if your eyes or your pupils react to light. I'm okay. not gonna shine it directly in, just partially. Very good. Partial. Perfect, we have a reaction, which is great. We don't have um, pupil <clears throat> dilation okay. to the point of worry, so that's good. I do have a really quick um, Snelling chart here. Okay. So just let me know what letter <clears throat> this is. O, J, L, L, T, J, H, P, L. Okay, very good. And then I'm going to have you look at my nose and tell me when you don't see my fingers anymore. No. 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 Okay, and tell me when you see them coming into your vision. No. 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 Very good, okay. Now I want you to tell me which fingers are moving, your right or left. Both. Left. Right. Both. Both. Left. Right. Okay, very good. Let's do your smell assessment here. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so I'll go ahead and tell you what that smells like. Pineapple. Very good. Um, apple. Okay, very good. Strawberry. Perfect. Okay, then I am going to do a quick taste test.
gonna spray something on here. Go ahead and taste. Um, grape. Good, and we'll do the other side. Um, grapeish berry. Yes, they're very similar. Very good. Okay. So now I'll have you just shrug your shoulders and don't let me push them down. Okay. okay. I'm going to try to move your head. Don't let me. And again. Okay. Keep your eyes closed and raise your eyebrows. Don't let me push them down. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to move on to the sharp or dull test. Okay. This is a sensation test. Okay. So go ahead and tell me if you feel sharp or dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Dull. All right, if you could just put your hands on your legs here. We'll do the hands. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. 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 Dull. Dull. Okay, very good. And then a quick hearing examination. Okay. So just let me know which ear you hear. Okay. This sound. My right, my left. Okay, now tell me if one or two is louder. This is one. That was two. Okay. Which one's louder? Oh, sorry, two. No worries. You can do that again. Two. One. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna have a quick look at the leg here. Was it quite swollen for the first day? Yes. I definitely see the redness. It seems to be inching up and I see a big scratch here. Yes. I also see a bruise. Did the scratch bleed at all? No, I'm just internally, but not nothing came out of it. Good, okay, and then this, when did this rash start? Um, kind of today. Okay. Let me go ahead and measure that really quick. Okay. I'm just going to leave my light here so that I can measure. Okay. Okay, so it looks like the rash right now at this moment is about three inches long. Okay. And let's just try to make sure it doesn't grow too much. That's about three and a half. Okay. And then let me just look at this side here. And then let me just look at this side here. Okay. Okay, perfect. So that looks okay. Let's get leave the light there and I'm gonna do a really quick measurement. So just a little lift if you could. If you're all right with it, I'll start to unwrap. Okay. And does it start here? Yes. And did they tell you that you could use this outer okay. wrap over again? Yes. Okay. I'll be very gentle. Let me Thank know you. if at any moment you feel any pain whatsoever, okay? okay? So we'll leave this to put back on. It's okay, I'll, I'll hold your leg. Thank you. Let it go there. So make sure they can. Oh, yeah, they can see. Getting 
getting closer, so I'm just going to be very gentle. And they are, and we're okay to remove these, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to discard this. We'll focus on this one first. Okay. So just an initial look. It does look like we've got a little bit of an infection there. And um, is there a reason why they didn't glue you up? Um, so I actually went to the ER two days after it happened, so um, you can't get, they said they couldn't give stitches um, 24 hours after. Gotcha. Okay, and there's a little bit of bruising here. Yeah. And how are you doing pain-wise? Can I just, I was going to press yeah. very lightly. How does, how does that feel? Is that painful right there? No, it used to be, but the swelling's gone down so much that it feels a lot better. How are you right here? Um, it's okay right there. Okay. I can feel the most pain right here. There must be a little bit of traction with the um, infection here. And you are taking those antibiotics, yes? Yes, ma'am. Okay, very good. Now, did they gave a sterilization package, right? Yes. And can I just see that? Yeah. Thank you. Did they give any antiseptic spray? Um, they gave some gel. All right. Do you have that on you? Yes, it's in the bag. It oh, perfect. Be. It's right here. Triple antibiotic, okay. So I am just going to, for sanitation purposes, put brand new gloves on, okay? Thank you. Okay, so I've got the brand new gloves here. And this is the triple antibiotic, correct? Yes. Okay. All right. I am going to gently pour this on. Okay. Perfect. And I'm just going to use a brand new tool here so that I can just um, spread it around. Just to make sure it goes everywhere. And are you okay at this moment? Yes. All right, very good. So that looks good. And then we'll add um, a non-adherent pad here. This is just to cover the scar here. So I'm gonna just gently tap it, gently put it on just like this. Is that all right? Yes. And then what I can do also is I can use an extra large bandage. Would you yeah. like that? Yeah. Okay. And are you okay? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Actually, what I'm going to do is focus on the other side. Okay. So are you able to, is that okay? Yes. Okay. Perfect. So the dog bit both sides. Yeah. Yes, I can like see. his jaw went like that. Wow. That's a big jaw. Yeah. yeah he's a big, big chihuahua. And so may I remove this? Yes. Okay. 
Just slowly removing this, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and just put this to the side. Okay. So I'm just gonna take a look at this side here. Definitely looks like it is um, healing. Yes. Okay. And are you able to just hold this? Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. So I'm going to use this antibiotic here. It should really help with the inflammation. Gently gonna be pouring this on. I'm just going to use this tool here. I'm just gonna spread that along the other little ones as well. Thank you. You're welcome. And are you doing okay? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right. Are you ready for this? Yes. Very lightly dabbing it on. I'm gonna go ahead and use a large band aid here. You are warm to touch, so just be aware of that. Okay. Um, if it ends up giving you a fever, definitely head to the ER. Okay. Did you need the lights? So? Um, no, that's perfect. Thank you. Of course. But what I can do is okay. Actually, just put the light here, and I'll have you. If you can just turn your knee back, perfect. Yes. Just gonna move these. Okay. Does it hurt to lift your leg? Mm no. Okay, let's see if we can lift it and I will. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Hold on, let me put it back down. Can I use that pillow? Yeah, absolutely. Let's prop your leg up. Perfect, that's literally perfect, okay. I'm just gonna use the light. I'm just starting to roll it. And does it feel, like, does it feel okay? Not yes. too tight? No, it feels fine. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so I do have it on. And does it feel okay? Yes, it feels nice. Thank you. Perfect, okay. I just wanted to do a few sharper drill tests. Okay. Just to make sure you still have your feeling. Okay. I'll be very <clears throat> gentle with the sharp. Thank you. And I'll have you close your oh, eyes. Oh, yeah. 
picture. Da. Da. Sharp. Sharp. Da. Da. Sharp. That's sharp, okay? Very good, okay, so a few of those were incorrect, so let me just double check one more time. Okay. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Okay, perfect. So you do have feeling, which is great. Okay. All right, so let me just take a look at your chart here. Okay. So we just applied the dressing. I'm gonna check that off. Make sure you keep the area dry. Okay. Make sure you keep it clean. I have some extra medication for you. Okay. So this is ibuprofen plus another dose of um, the antibiotics to last okay. you for uh, 14 days. Okay, thank so you. So here's that. Okay, and just make sure you monitor your symptoms over the next two to three days. We don't have anybody else coming in to see you, so. Um, if the redness travels up, if you get more bruising or swelling, um, and it's like unbearable, just come see us again at the um, ER. Okay. And then if your symptoms don't improve, that's another um, cause for concern. So within the next couple of days, if you don't see any improvement, if you see any yellow leakage, come see us again, okay? Okay. And your temperature was good. Your blood pressure was, was, was good for the most part. BMI was good, okay, and pulse oxygenation, respiration, okay. On a scale of one to 10, how much pain are you in right now? Um, four or five. Four or five? Yeah. Okay, so go ahead and take a dose of that medication so that okay. you can start feeling better. Make sure you get lots of rest okay. and try to drink some water if you can. Yeah, absolutely. I've All been right. trying to drink a lot. Good, okay, you're awesome. All right, um, yeah, like I said, come see us again if you need us. Perfect, um, and I have a question. Um, what should you do about an animal bite? Yeah, I'd love to answer that question for you. So, first of all, try to stay away from animals if you can. Um, I know this was definitely uncalled for, for sure, but maybe just be a little extra cautious. Yeah. Um, yeah, so make sure you just ask questions like to your doctors if you ever go see them. Like if you go back to the ER, make sure you ask all the questions you need to. Okay. Um, you've been uh, give an antibiotic, so that's one of the most important parts of it. Okay. Get rid of the infection. Then I have to finish the whole dose. Right? You do, okay. yes. Every single pill. Okay. Um, and so the most important thing as well is to make sure you keep it covered okay. and clean and moist. Uh, okay. Sorry, not moist, sorry. Clean and dry. Yes. Um, after a day or two, you can wash with soap and water. Okay. So go ahead and do that. So Pat I can it. take a shower and everything. Yes, okay. you can. Pat it dry, use a clean dressing every time. Okay. But make sure you change your dressing once a day at least. Okay. 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 Perfect. Or once every 72 hours. And uh, make sure that you wash your hands. And each time you change dressing, look closely at the wound to be sure it's healing. Okay. okay. The wound may have a thin yellowish discharge. So the yellowish discharge is normal. Okay. Perfect. perfect. Yes. Um, if it ends up being like, like a lot, like dripping, then it might be a cause of concern okay just try not to uh, pick at the scab definitely not, the yeah. scab try not to do that because you can have bacteria come in there and then do not soak in water or swim with an open wound okay so hopefully you don't have any trips coming up where you'll be in a hot tub or swimming i wish <laughs> <laughs> all right um did you have any other questions for me no that's perfect thank you so much am i okay to keep this these papers yeah definitely i'm going to hand these over to you thank you and are these discharge papers even like at home discharge yes they are yep thank you so there's okay. your after visit summary thank you so much is there anything else I can do for you today? No, that's perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, you're thank welcome. You. It was lovely to have you over. Yes, thank you. Thank you.